What's going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode on my channel. As always, I'm Jay and today guys, I finally got my hands on my copy of the complete limited edition Blu-ray collection of Batman Beyond the Complete Animated Series. I'm going to delve into what this came with, compare it with the last Blu-ray release of the Batman Animated Series, and then give you my recommendation at the end of the video. But without further ado, let's crack this baby open and get to the good stuff. So my first thoughts on this, guys, is that this box is definitely a lot bigger than what we got on our Batman animated series release. So let's crack this thing open. And of course, what do we got? We have our nice special edition 80 years Batman Beyond Funko Pop, which looks amazing. And unfortunately, the one that I have, it is a little bit crumpled because I did get a later version of it but it actually is beautiful despite the box being slightly damaged and definitely awesome to get this as opposed to three minifigures for sure. And aside from that, we do end up getting a set of more lenticular images. And as you can see, we got some cool images of Batman Beyond fighting his different rogues gallery. But aside from that, we actually have the box itself, which when we're taking out this shell right here, does look awesome as hell. But just like the original one, we have a nice hardcover, slips right out into kind of a booklet format. Not as nice as the original animated series, but still pretty good nonetheless. And right here, it has all of the Blu-rays. Unfortunately, I don't think they're as secured as they should be, but that's beside the point. We also have the digital download code and a nice little booklet of the entire series here. So it has all of the episodes and all of the special features and whatnot from the entire series. And also, just like the last release with Batman the Animated Series, this actually does include some bonus episodes uh, for the series, and it does include the Batman Beyond Return of the Joker Blu-ray, um, the director's cut, that is, of the original version, which actually has a PG-13 rating and was one of the first more adult-oriented uh, visions for any type of DC animated movie. All right, guys, well, the time has come for us to compare both Blu-ray releases for the Batman animated series and Batman Beyond, which just released. So right off the bat, you can tell that the boxes that they came in are bigger, mostly due to the Pop Funkos that it, they had come with. Now, Batman Beyond's box is bigger, mostly because it came with an actual full-size Funko versus three small mini Funkos, which, hands down, the quality on this one is a lot better, and this one is a lot more desirable than the three Funkos we got here. And this one right here, that definitely goes to Batman Beyond. The Funko was better versus these Funkos, so 0.1 to Batman Beyond. Now, they both come with uh, probably the same amount of lenticular art, so not too bad. Now, what they have as far as that, though, is that when we're talking about the releases, they look similar, but they definitely do have some difference here. Just look at this release right here. This Batman uh, animated series, the actual slipcover is a lot heftier, and you actually get a nice booklet with the different uh, box art and all of the uh, seasons in a nice Blu-ray collection where they're actually in slip covers. That is a huge, huge thing versus this where you just take it out and it's literally just kind of pop panels right here. It's not any type of care, no care taken on this. It's just a regular run-of-the-mill booklet and they just popped it into these you know, plastic holders, which didn't hold very well. But aside from that, Batman, the animated series, definitely does have a little bit more going for it, like I said, because of the way that the box art is. And it does have... A couple movies with it. Batman Mask of the Phantasm and Batman Sub-Zero. Now the quality of those movies versus Batman Beyond Return of the Joker notwithstanding, you know, that doesn't really make too too much, but I do think that in this box it's clear as day that they took a lot more care in doing this right here. And as far as that goes, that quality as far as the packaging is significantly in Batman the Animated Series favor versus Batman Beyond here. Overall, I do think that both of these are worth your money and definitely for Batman Beyond despite it not being up to par with Batman the Animated Series. But overall guys, I do highly recommend going and grabbing this. Just like the uh, other release of the Batman Animated Series, I'm sure that after this limited edition run is done, they're going to be having a lighter version without all the amenities. So if you want to be a collector but you don't need all these things right here, 
none to worry. I'm sure they're going to have one coming through the pipeline in, you know, the coming weeks and coming months. Uh, again, it includes all the entire show, some special features, and the Blu-ray release of the director's cut of Return of the Joker. So all in all, guys, definitely worth your buck. You get a couple nice amenities. And of course, you have Batman Beyond on Blu-ray for the first time. But anyway, guys, that's all the time that I have for today. So thank you so much for joining me on my review of the Batman Beyond Blu-ray animated series. And guys, until next time, as always, I'm Jay, so take care. Bye.